As I played some pickup basketball this weekend, I realized the value of trapping a pick and roll. Uh, you know, obviously, I wasn't playing with the most talented or most skilled players, you know, or the quickest players, you know, as we're all kind of past our prime. Uh, but as soon as I jumped out to trap a pick and roll, uh, the player picked up the ball. Uh, and while you might suggest that this is because, you know, we're lacking skills or we're older or whatever, I see the same thing happen, uh, you know, at youth and high school levels for sure, and to a certain extent in the college and MBA. So uh, Crossover Analytics uh, came out with a study last year uh, that looked at the four factors, Dean Oliver's four factors, and they found that in high school games, uh, turnover rate is the biggest predictor of success. So whereas in the NBA, it's shooting percentage, in, uh, in high school basketball, it's winning the turnover battle. And this makes sense because shooting percentages are lower, typically, in high school basketball. And so getting layups becomes much more important because uh, those would be higher percentage shots or higher efficiency shots. Um, and the easiest way to shoot layups is to create turnovers. Um, and so I also saw, I forget who put this one out. It was probably an island calculus because I follow them on Twitter. Um, but they found that it would be advantageous to NBA defenses to be more aggressive uh, defensively um, as opposed to the more conservative type defenses that tend to dominate uh, NBA basketball now. Um, and my guess is that one reason would be uh, along the same lines. If you can uh, create an extra couple turnovers, you can reduce uh, the opponent's opportunities to score um, and you can also increase your shooting percentages uh, because you're shooting layups or dunks, which are going to be, you know, shot at such a higher uh, conversion rate compared to, you know, a half-court uh, offensive set. So combining these kind of ideas, I really think more teams should structure more aggressive defenses and really look at trapping pick and rolls. Um, I, I firmly believe that most players are ill-equipped offensively to handle uh, a trapping situation off a ball screen. Um, and I think most offenses uh, below the NBA level are, are poorly spaced and it allows for defenses to rotate out of traps. Um, and like I talked about uh, the other day with my uh, kind of analogy with Wimbledon or Murray and Djokovic, if you can trap and not give up an immediate layup and you can force them. So once you trap, if they pass out of the trap, they've gone from a disadvantage to a big advantage. And so if you can take that big advantage away and not give up a layup or a wide open three pointer to a good shooter, uh, you know, you're making that offense win the possession more than once. Um, and again, as I stated, I, I really think that uh, makes for a good defense and is one way to determine who is and isn't a good defensive team. Um, so again, based on what I've seen, you know, at all levels, um, kind of the studies from crossover and what I assume was a nylon calculus study, uh, you know, I think being a little bit more aggressive in the half-court defense um, can have positive benefits both defensively and offensively. Uh, you know, obviously, if you're going to be aggressive defensively, you're going to tend up to give to tend to give up more openings as well. Uh, you know, because you're rotating harder, you're getting yourself somewhat out of position because you're, you know. Uh, trapping or dedicating more attention towards the ball and potentially leaving somebody open further away from the ball that if the offense is able to exploit that, they're going to get an opening. Um, so you have to have a certain uh, risk tolerance to play aggressively in the half court. Uh, and you have to kind of have that uh, balance of, you know, figuring out, you know, when the risks versus the rewards, when, when the rewards are enough to justify the risks of, uh, you know, giving up more open shots. So is there a certain number of turnovers that you need to create? Is there a certain number of points off turnovers that you need to create? Uh, or do you look at it from the other respect? Uh, is there a certain number of points that you give up off of your aggressiveness that you're unwilling to go beyond that? Um, and so if you can't handle a team and, you know, prevent them from getting more than, let's say, 10, 10 points immediately off your aggressive defense, uh, then you're going to play a little bit more conservatively. Or if you can create 18 points off of your aggressive defense, then you're less worried about how many 
you know, points that you're surrendering because of that aggressiveness. Um, but I really think there's one thing uh, for coaches to consider is, you know, I think offensive players, because of the way that we're taught the game uh, and the way that most offenses are structured, I think it gives an advantage to aggressive defenses. And I think that uh, has been illustrated by several of the studies, um, both at the high school and the NBA level.